Okay, dogs, I'm going to show you how I kind of set this up. Hopefully this will be efficient for you and you're able to uh, do it to put together a course here. The first thing I do is I go into Unity, set up my terrain, just make it 2048 by 2048. I've got reasons behind doing that and why it's just simplest to do it this way. Um, ultimately, I'm going to be working in meters. If for some reason you want to work in yards, um, you may want to set it up differently, but we can kind of text about that. Um, but uh, in the end, set up to 2048 by 2048, and then come back to your um, textures uh, painting tool here, and we're going to just change the first texture. You know, I've got Mike's uh, CourseForge tutorial loaded here, and um, you're going to import the um, file that I passed to you that's called Gridlines. And so that Gridlines PSD, go ahead and open that into Unity. And then we're going to come back to the terrain here and uh, change this first paint swatch to be the Gridlines file. And change that to 2048 by 2048. That means it will tile exactly once over the terrain. And I basically made this grid so that there's 10 blocks for the minor units and then the major units across here I think are like 20 and uh, in the end that basically allows you to um, you know every block is essentially 10 meters um, so then if I draw this here you'll see that's 32 yards which is roughly 10 meters and so you could freehand something in here if you wanted to that way using this grid um, but also, you'll see, it just helps us in Photoshop a little bit. Honestly, you don't 100% need the grid, but it makes it a little easier. So, then what I want you to do is open this grid in Photoshop. The reason we're going to do that is I'm going to keep saving the grid in Photoshop, and it's going to automatically update in here, so we don't have to keep deleting this and re-importing it. So, go ahead and you right-click on it or double-click on it, but you can right-click on it to show an Explorer. And then I'm just going to double click on it and it opens it in Photoshop for me. And so now what we're going to do is we're basically going to go get a hole and bring it in here and scale it. So every time we bring in a hole, we're going to use the same method to basically just size it. And the way I've set up my Photoshop is what you want to do is just a couple things. Go to um, Edit, Preferences, and then change your units and rulers here. And make sure your rulers, the unit for the ruler, is pixels. And then choose OK. And then make sure your rulers are viewable by going to View, and then make sure the rulers is checked. So that way, uh, you're going to see across the top and across the side um, the units here. And it's going to make it easier for us to scale. So now let's just head to Google. And um, you know I'm just using Google Maps here. And it will usually come up with all these labels here and so you want to make the labels go away I would assume when you're taking uh, portions of a course um, so you can make the labels disappear if you click on this menu and I've got the satellite on but then just click this here and that'll make the labels go off and then I don't know if you've got this available I've mentioned it before on um, how to take uh, crop images out uh, it's this thing called the snipping tool if you don't have it available yet, uh, hopefully you're not on a Mac, just go to your start window there and type in snipping tool. And then right click on it and choose um, pin to start. And then, um, or pin to taskbar actually. So then it shows up on the bottom for you. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, pin to taskbar and then I've got this snipping tool down at the bottom. So what I would first do is actually just right click on the course I'm, I'm at Pebble here and we're going to take hole number 17 and choose measure distance and then I'm going to um, just click here and uh, actually you got to go back and put the labels on I should have turned it off sorry and just do the distance for this hole because that's going to allow us to then bring it into Photoshop and scale it so if you look this is 137 meters and so now I'm going to, I can either leave this on or make it disappear. You probably, um, yeah, I guess you could leave it. it. just It's up to you how you want this to come into your course if you're going to trace it because it's going to be in the way. So you might want it to disappear. Um, and then close this box. It'll make that 
measuring tool disappears. So then you're going to choose the snipping tool and just click new and it makes a box here. We're just going to box hole 17 and then I don't have to do anything with that. I just go straight into Photoshop and it's put it on the clipboard. So now I can just come into Photoshop and choose edit paste and so it's going to drop it in there but obviously it's too big. Now I'm hitting control minus here to um, just keyboard shortcut to zoom out. What I'm going to want to do is scale this. So the first thing I'm going to do is just do edit transform and I'm going to rotate it and then I just want the hole to be positioned vertically with my line so that when I scale it it's just a little easier to make sure um, I've got the dimensions just right. Then I'm going to control plus and zoom in here on this and then I'm just using my mouse wheel to move up here and zoom in here. You can use the magnifying glass as well. But uh, what I'm going to want to do is make a grid line that's 137 meters. So I come up to my top ruler and I just left click and drag and it's going to make a grid line. See how it's at zero on the Y? And I'm going to drag it till it's at 137 because if you remember from the T to the middle of the green when we did this back on Google and I had that measuring tool it was 137 meters and so now basically all I'm gonna do is take take this and I'm gonna put my T box on the top line here and then I'm just gonna scale this down so you go edit transform again scale and then I'm just gonna and then you hold down shift and that basically constrains it and the X and the Y so that you're not doing a non-uniform scale. So edit transform scale, hold down shift and then left click and drag and then you can still pick this up and move it but I'm just going to keep scaling it till the middle of this green is on this turquoise line and then the T box is um, is sort of on the zero on the y-axis there if that makes sense so and it just depends on how accurate you want to get it so that's pretty darn close you could also bring it into unity and keep tweaking it but uh, I like where that is okay so now I've got my hole and what I'm gonna advocate is you can just bring all your holes in here and let's call this double click on your layer here and let's just call this pebble 17 and now what you can do too is uh, I'm going to zoom back in so I got the magnifier here is you can also delete some of this around it if you want it to uh, overlay nicely with some of your other holes um, or maybe you're going to even um, try to do like the terrain overlay method and you don't want all this other junk around it um, is that we can delete some of this in a non-destructive way and the way I do that is I go layer new adjustment layer Sorry, let's take that back. Uh, where the heck did that go? Hmm. Okay, sorry. On mine, I don't know what it's going to say on yours. It may say new adjustment layer and you have to pick this. I have layer mask. And this is, I'm in Photoshop 2018. But you go layer mask, reveal all. If you'll see here in the layer for Pebble 17, it just made a white box. What that is, it's black and white information only. Anything that's white um, will be visible. Anything that's black will be invisible. So watch this. I've got this chosen to be black. I'm going to take the paintbrush here. And that's a little large. I'm going to take my paintbrush here. And I've got it set to 100% opacity, 100% flow. And I'm going to come here and just paint. And what you'll see is that the hole is going to start to disappear. And so just creating a masking layer that um, is an easy way to go around this hole and sort of clean it up. And so I can also, the other neat thing here is if I make a mistake, you can now just go back to white and paint the hole back in and it shows back up. So that's just simple Photoshop tricks there. Um, and now you'll see we zoom out and we can move this around wherever we want on the terrain and then so that was this selection tool and you can just pick up the layer and move it wherever you want and then we can go back to edit transform 
and rotate it, uh, or do you, you can do free transform, and then that's got the rotation tool. You can kind of put it wherever you want, however you want, double click to lock that in. Now what we're going to do is just save it. If I just do file save, Remember, this is that file in the Unity project, and now that hole's just going to propagate up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I don't know why I see it disappear there. Who knows? That's just a Unity thing there. But um, I imagine if I pick back on this tool, drag, drop that in may not do it. Yeah, that's just a bit of a Unity bug there. But now you can see we've got this hole in here. And let me just delete the trees here real quick. And I just want to show you. I'm going to measure it. It's, pro it's like 170-some yards here. Or maybe it's 150-some. But you'll see that carried over, and so, yeah, 150 yards. If you decide, you know what, I want that a little bit bigger, go back into Photoshop, do Edit Transform on that layer again, you know, maybe zoom in. And then you could just you make it a little bit bigger and then save it. So there'll be some trial and error, but if you're labeling each hole, like let's go grab another hole real quick. Um, We'll just grab this other part three here. So snipping tool, new on the snip, outline it. So that's in my uh, clipboard now. I forgot to measure it, so let's just measure it as well. Put my labels back on. So from the back tee box we got here to the middle of the green, is 184 meters. So back into Photoshop, zoom out a little bit. You can take this grid line and just move it down to 184 meters now. Remember, this is just being used to scale. And then I'm going to do edit paste because I had that snip part in that other hole in the clipboard. And then I'm going to rotate this. So edit transform and rotate it. I'm just going to rotate it till it's vertical, and it's going to just allow my scaling to be a little more accurate. And then we can do Edit Transform Scale here, and hold down Shift when you do that. And then my T-box is going to be on the zero Y-axis here, and then we just keep going until we get to the turquoise line. There are other ways to probably make this be perfect, but I don't think that's what you're going for. And so now we got this other hole. If we wanted to put it here, you can see it obviously goes over top of the other one, so we're going to create that mask layer again. So layer mask, reveal all, pick up black as your color here. You can see I'm just switching that, or you can click left-click on this, pick your color, but make it black. Go to your, your paintbrush here. Make sure opacity is on 100%, flow on 100, zoom in, and now we're going to just paint that away. And then we'll go ahead and save it and show that that just shows up in Unity. So, pretty neat. And if you want to do it with the height map, we can do it honestly the exact same way, but what I do is I can lock the height map to the overlay and then we can move them around together and so honestly you could make like one of those cool best of uh, courses where the height map is actually accurate but it would require us to find 18 holes find 18 height maps bring them all into Photoshop and tweak it I'm willing to do that for you if you want to design the course I'd, I'd happily make the uh, the overlay for you I uh, I'm not as good when it comes to going through the drudgery of actually building the course, but I'll help you in any way you'd like. All right, cool. Enjoy.